Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Kairos and welcome back once again to Let's Play Silent Hunter 4. It is March 8th, 1942 and we just sank that uh, medium composite freighter. There you are, for 2000, nearly 3,000 tons. And now we have about, oh, we've got another nine, eight days or so of this uh, patrol. We've got to go pottering up and down the Hong Kong region, you can see here. And we're supposed to sink more ships, ideally. Secondary objective. But, uh, yes, we will have a look around, see what we can find. I still haven't got any, at the time of recording this anyway, I still haven't got any more information on the mystery of the stationary submarine that we had last episode, but I will get back to you on that if I if I learn anything. Uh, for now, we'll, we are just going to continue our patrol, and I'll get back to you if we find any more stationary submarines out there uh, to shoot at. Okay, well, it's now March 9th, 1942. We have a very interesting contact down here. It is a um, merchant moving fast, closing merchant moving fast that's interesting because that means it's going well over to uh 10 knots oh we have a wow okay uh maintain current orders let's have a look out here what have we got go away go away oh that's interesting yeah java's been attacked and also apparently coffee rationing begins tomorrow so that's not good because i do love my coffee um hello what have we this is very interesting we have what looks to me like unless that's two stacks sticking up in the, on the horizon no, I don't know. Yeah, okay, it's it's way out on the horizon. Gee, the visibility's good. Uh, let's go and investigate that. I'm just not sure we'll be able to... We might be using the deck gun this time. Let's go about turn. And do uh, and go ahead, flank. I'm going to get a little bit closer to her and let you know what we're dealing with here. Um, I can just show you the boat. We're turning around here. She can turn pretty, pretty fast if she needs to, but we do lose speed. Uh, anyhow... Beautiful clear day, perfect day for an attack. So I'll go down there, see if we can uh, catch whatever it is, and we might end up using the deck gun actually for this one, who knows. I'd love to know what it is. Uh, traveling fast, she's going somewhere in a, hurry, in a hurry, so I guess we'll find out. All right, we're going to battle stations. She's out there, I've just 315'd her. Uh, she should be about 90, there she is. I'd love to know what she is to be going so quickly, but uh, we are going to... Uh, you can see there I've got her course, more or less. I think... I'm tempted to use the deck gun here, but I think we will use those torpedoes. So let's go periscope depth. Quickly. Gee, we're getting along. We really are getting along. So we should dive fairly quickly. I think the depth under the keel is pretty damn good. Uh, I'm not even going to bother to check it because I know it's deep here. Uh, definitely deep enough for what we want. So let's have a look on this map again. How far out are we? Assuming she hasn't seen us, we should be on a fairly good intercept course. So I can actually slow down now. Standard. And I'm going to move into position. Um, have a shot at this one. We've got to make sure we set up the torpedoes properly if we're going to use them. Uh, see, she's moving fast though. No, let's keep going. Let's keep going ahead full because she's going to catch up with us real fast. That's right. I was going to test her speed, wasn't I? So it's between these two marks. Um, what is fast? What qualifies as fast? 14 knots. Wow. 14 knots? 14 and a half. 15 possibly. I'm going to say 14 and a half. Now, I'm, I'm positive that, that I marked that just before I dived. So that's that's right. Okay, well, we'll continue it. Um, seven knots under here. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm going to get into position. Very curious as to what this is. I hope we've got enough time. Uh, we really had to go to periscope depth about then. Actually, let's go up to flank, and I'll get as close as I can, and then we'll poke that periscope up and have a look. Uh, I'm going to set up all the tools and stuff as well, get everything ready, try and get an idea of our angle on the bow, um, so we're all ready. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time, so I've got to get on with this, I've got to do this fast. Right now, there we go. So that's set up, I can just move that as I need, we'll be, we'll be okay if 
we move quick, we'll get we'll get a shot in it. Okay, well I really can't wait any longer. We're going to slow down to a head full. I'm just going to risk raising the periscope. We won't be able to see much, probably, at this speed. I mean, in reality, of course, the periscope would, would be almost impossible to use at this speed. You'd probably rip it off, actually, at nine knots. I don't know how strong they actually were, but... Um, I mean, nine knots isn't that fast, really, in the scheme of things, I suppose. What can we see? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I know it's out there. Come on, what are you guys smoking? What am I smoking? I'm the one looking through the periscope. There should be something out there. Was it a... It couldn't have been a submarine. Could it? No, it had smoke. There we go. Well, I don't know what that is, but it's moving quick. It's moving jolly quick. Let's have a look in this. Let's lower this scope for a little while. Just having a quick look at it. We're still making seven knots, so I'm going to go ahead and flank again. While I flick through this and have a look. There's just so much to choose from here. What have we got? What have we got? Could be that. No. We won't know until it gets closer. So I'll just keep, um, keep moving. Taking a risk raising that scope at this speed. But uh, she is getting remarkably close. Fairly low. Hmm. I don't know, people. I don't know. I'm just going to have to get closer. We'll see. Alright, I think this is what we're dealing with. An Arden Maru passenger cargo. Um, so that's going to be worth shooting at, for sure. 3,000 tons. I'm... Well, it's unrestricted warfare. I hope there are no civilians on board. Passengers, women and children. This doesn't sit right with me, but we're going to fire at it anyway. Maybe we'll just fire one torpedo at it. Where is it? Just It was just here. So we're making good time. Let's mark that. I marked it earlier there. Okay, we're making good time now. I might be able to slow down soon. How far out are we? 3,000. We're still a little bit too far. Let's go ahead flank for a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of time compression just for a bit. To try and get a little bit closer. Because we're going to be firing at maximum range here. Okay. Let's slow down the standard because we will get spotted otherwise. That's about as close as we're going to get. We're going to be shooting at a good... Wow. That's that's quite far, but we'll have a go at it anyway. It's going to be a long shot. Page up. So. Yeah, that's better. Now we can see, and I'm definitely right about that. That's what we're dealing with. Lock. I did enter that, didn't I? Yes, I did. All right. Bearing mark. Good. Speed. We know what it's going already. 14 and a half knots. Angle on the bow. Okay, we're going to have to guess first of all. Just going to raise that scope again. And we should get a look at it. Let the officers have a look. Here we go. I hope we haven't been spotted. Slow down. Yes, sir. That's our angle on the bow. I can't read that. 56. Angle on bow. That'll do. Oh, damn it. Need more data. Bearing mark. They think six. I don't believe that. Down scope. Wait a little while longer. And get a little bit closer. I'm not going to turn this on yet. Uh, 
wish I knew exactly how far she was going. We got 14 and a half knots before, didn't we? So I'm going to guess 14. Hmm. While we're doing that, we should set up the torpedoes. I might fire two this time. Go away. That's not what I'm looking for. Where am I going? In here. Torpedoes. Let's set them for fast because she's going quite quickly. Hmm. Do we want impacts or influence? I think I will use... I like to use contacts, but this time, because we know what it is, I'm going to use influence. Let's fire tubes three and four this time. High. Speed high. Both on influence. Or oh, maybe I should leave them slow. Just worried about the speed she's going. Okay, we'll, we'll leave them on, on slow. We'll take a risk. Um... If I'm on influence, what is her draft? 21. Draft of 21. Okay, 21. Uh, that's not quite right. We'll put on 22. This one. Torpedo depth. 22. Come on. Damn, this thing's finicky. Yep, that's set. Double check that. Draft 21. So we got that set for 22. Set that up a little bit more actually. 22. That'll do. 22. Okay, they're set. We need to raise that scope again. They're going to be right on top of us by now, most likely. Oh dear, I don't like that. Okay, we have to fire right now. Angle on the bow. God, they're going quick. Seventy-five. Gotta do range mark first. Range mark. Angle on bow. Seventy-five. Estimate speed, please. Fourteen. That's the solution. Let's keep that. Let's check this quickly. Uh, open tubes three and four. Let's have a look at this. That's going to have to do. Tube one. Fire. Sorry, tube three, fire. Go. It helps if you know what torpedo you're shooting. All right, let's move this to the left by about two and a half degrees. Tube four. Fire. All right, now we just got to wait and see what happens. Let's have a look at this. I'm not going to bother dropping the scope this time. We will slow down, though. It'll leave less of a wake. She doesn't seem to have noticed us yet. Okay, that's good. Those torpedoes are going slow. Actually, we will drop that scope for now. We don't want to get spotted. Yeah, I should have probably fired faster torpedoes because she'll probably see these coming and speed up. I'm just going to do some time compression here. That's not a great angle, I have to say. That really is not a great angle. We might miss this one, people. Raise that scope again. There we are. Oops, sorry. Right. Okay, that scope is up. I'm just going to drop it a little bit. So it's less obvious. She is going really fast. I think we're going to miss this one. I really do. Which actually doesn't make me feel too bad because I think that's a passenger ship. And look, it's taking evasive action. It's seen those torpedoes coming. Which are, yep, there they go. I should have set them for fast. We might get one hit, actually. Look at that. We might get one hit. Assuming that that piston, uh, pistol goes off. That one's going to miss. So I set that a little bit too far. But I had a feeling I'd, I'd got the speed wrong. But that might be a hit. We shall soon know. Should be about now. There we go. Torpedo impact. One one impact. That should be enough to send her down. I think. Good stuff. That's very good. Alright. Well done, men. You can... Uh, you can relax now. What have we got? We fired two torpedoes. We've only got a couple left here. So, we've already... We've got 
more half tube, uh, tubes left than we do four tubes, but... Uh, all right, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to send her down, but we will shadow her. Let's speed up a little bit and follow her in the periscope. I'm not too concerned by that yes. gun there. We will watch her, and we will keep yes, good eye on her. If I have to, I can always maneuver and fire another shot. She's got two guns there, one on the stern and one on the bow. Well, that's a good start. Definitely a good start to our um, episode. Uh, I'll drop the scope for now, and we'll follow her for a little while. Okay, well, you can see her out there. She's a billowing flame. I've been following her for quite a while now, and she doesn't look like she's going to sink. Um, at that angle, I could almost put another torpedo in her, but I dare not. Um, I don't know. We could try. I just don't know how fast she's going now. She could be going slower than, than 14 knots with that damage. So it, it's hard to tell. Indeed, I do think she is going slower. I suppose we could try and take another solution just quickly. Let's slow down. Um, so I've turned that off. Is that still recognized? Yes, it is. Let's try again for a solution. Range mark. While we're waiting, we'll get an angle on bow. We know she's going, it's about 90 degrees now. But she, we know she's going in that direction. It looks like she's turning back on her course after that the shock of being attacked. It's almost 90. There you go. Almost. Look at that. What does that say? 82, 92. Wow, okay. I'm just going to say 90. Do I really want to waste another torpedo on her? When I don't know how fast she's going. Mark, what do you think, gentlemen? 11. Is it worth it? I think it could be doing 11, you know? Let's have a look into here. Uh, do you know what? I think I might fire another shot at her. Open tube one. We'll set this one to contact, high speed, 10. That's not a bad looking solution, actually. I will set it off to one degree to the left. Fire one. Let's see if we get her. There will be a torpedo over there, just on its way. There you go. So we will see what happens. I don't, I'm not too optimistic, but, you know, I'm, to be honest, I'm kind of wanting to go home at this point. So I'm not too concerned about my torpedoes. Uh, more concerned about sending this damn thing to the bottom without having to use the damn deck gun. Um, hmm. Let's have a look here. Yeah, no, that's not quite right. You can see that's, that's uh, moving off. Let's do some time compression. Yeah, we're going to miss. We are going to miss. Oh, not by much, though. Ho, 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 ho. Look at that. Not by much. Be a torpedo that'll go straight past here. Can see a propellers churning, and there'll be a torpedo over here somewhere, which I can't see now, but we did miss. It's very annoying. Oh, well. We'll keep, we'll keep chasing her for now and see what happens. All right, well, we're on the surface. I've decided we're gonna try and finish her off with the deck gun. She's way out there. I don't think she's even noticed us yet, um, but we'll have a go anyway. How far out are you? A little too far. I'm gonna order the men to open fire. You may fire at will. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See if we get it. Boom, okay, good. See if we have any luck. It's a long way out, so I don't like our chances, but it's worth it. It's worth a try. She might be too damaged to retaliate. They're pretty good shots, actually. They're not doing too badly. 
I might take over in a little while. Oh, there we are. That's a hit. I'm going to come down here with them so we don't get flames in our eyes. So much. Whoa. I spoke too soon. We're going to get just as much flame in our eyes, but... That's pretty cool, though. It's working out well. Keep firing. Where are you? Yeah, they're, good in, they're getting good hits. I'm going to order them to aim for the water line. They're not already. There we go. They're not firing back yet. I guess we'll just wait and see what happens. We're gaining on her, slowly. Might have to take over in a minute. Let me have a go, my dear fellow. That was a hit, well done. What are we dealing with here? Let's try 3,000. That's way off. They're probably doing a better job than I am. I can't see from here. Actually, let's let them do, the, do it because they seem to know what they're doing better than I do. Climb back up here. They so, yo, look at that bang. They're on the horizon. It's going to go down for sure. Heard another boom. Whoa, that's a good sound. They don't seem to be firing back. Boom. Nice shot. Now that's got to go down in a minute, surely. Yes, sir. Nice one. I'd say that's about to go down. My men have stopped firing. There they go. They've got the boats off. They're getting away. Beautiful. Yeah, she's going to go down now. There she goes. Good stuff. Nothing but boxes and one boat left. So that was a successful attack in the end, although used up one too many torpedoes on her. Oh well. Not bad. Not bad, really, all things considered. I do feel good about myself knowing that uh, those men are going to have a chance to survive. Off they go. I wish them well. You can still see the smoke and the flames over there. Uh, and if we look in the binoculars, we might even be able to see the boat somewhere out there. I don't know. It's just clearing up now. There it is. You can just see it on the horizon. But uh, anyway, that's good. We're going to get underway now. Uh, get out of here before the... Um, before the Japanese start sending aircraft or worse destroyers out of out our way, we're going to head for deeper water as quickly as possible because it's yes, not sir. too deep here. I'll clean this up yes, and we'll continue patrolling the area. That's been successful. Uh, we've got this as well. We've got uh, complete completion here of the uh, secondary objective, so that's that's excellent. Well, that was rather tiring, uh, a bit clumsy on my part, but you know we got we got her in the end. I'm surprised they didn't fire back, uh, but, you know, I'm not complaining about it. So let's keep having a uh, look around here and see what else we can find. Okay, we have three ships heading for us here. Um, I've just called it in, see what the Ad Admiralty wants us to do about it. Uh, look out there, there they are. We are definitely not wanting to get too close to that, so I'm going to start 315ing them, and we'll see if we get any orders. Uh, click, first one. Alright, I've got to keep a track of that. I'm going to move out this way because we're going to be firing. Um, we are, of course, going to be firing our stern torpedoes at them because we only have the stern torpedoes really at this point. Let's draw a line here, find out exactly where they're going. I think I should go to periscope depth soon. We'll try and 315 them uh, before. I'm going to slow down here. Slow right down. And while you're doing that, start turning away from them as well. So that's one minute. One 
minute. Do some time compression. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, lucrative target. However, other forces for attacking are... Okay. Vected that way. Safely break contact and continue with assigned operations. Damn it. Alright. Well, we're going to do as, we, as we're told because that's part of the immersion thing. So I guess we can pull call that off. That's very annoying, actually. I'm almost tempted to ignore my orders, but I won't. Why won't you shut up? Thank you. Let's see. What have we got? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Am I looking so dark I can't tell whether I'm looking forward or aft? There we go. That is a damn juicy looking target, but we will do as we're told. We'll go to periscope depth quietly, rig for silent running, and let them pass. Oh, that's annoying. I hate those guys, I really do. Well, it's now uh, March 13th. We've been pottering around here for a couple more days. I was just looking at these orders here. Uh, definitely a lucrative target, however, other forces for attacking are vectored that way. Safely break contact continue with assigned operations. That is so annoying. I could have got a 15,000 ton tanker. Or return to base if necessary for fuel supplies and repairs. I missed that bit, so we can actually return to base now if we choose, but uh, I'm going to stay here for a while longer. Um, do I turn around? I don't know. I've got a few torpedoes left. We've got pl plenty of fuel. What I might do, we've just finished this uh, patrolling this area is I might um, take that as an invitation to head back down uh, home and uh, we will sort of do our own thing for a while I think. We'll head down towards, um, mm, I don't know, we, we might head down towards Saigon here uh, which is what I wanted to do last episode and then I'll call again and see if they want anything else, uh, us to do anything else We've still got some torpedoes left, um, and we've already completed enough objectives to, I think, uh, you know, warrant a return home. We've only got one torpedo left in the forward tubes and four in the aft tubes, so we're really not in a position to be particularly useful at this point. It's definitely getting near the time to head home, but maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I'm going to head down that way towards Saigon, and then I'm going to let them know where we are and see what they want us to do. Okay, we have another merchant contact down there. Um, it's getting choppy out there. Sounds like it's moving pretty quick. We can hear it. Chug, chug, chug. Well, I'm happy to say the hydrophone seems to have fixed itself. Uh, it was bugging out uh, a couple of episodes ago now, I think. So, um, that's good. But anyway, it seems to be working fine now, as it, as it normally does in Silent Hunter 4, yes. on the surface, in rough seas, for some bizarre reason. But anyhow, let's go have a look at this. Um, let's just do some time compression here. Go ahead, flank, please, gentlemen. It's moving up that way, quite a rapid pace, too. So, yeah, let's slow that back down again. We'll mark where that is. We know it's heading north. So I'll go and intercept that, let you know if it's worth shooting at. I might just get into position, so we've got... Um, uh, this episode is getting quite long, so I'll just get into position... Uh, 315 her if she's worth shooting at and uh, once we're close enough to get a good look at her I'll let you have a look in the periscope or wherever we are. We might even try a surface attack in this darkness. It might work out. Seas are a little bit choppy but I think we should be able to do that. So we'll head out that way and uh, have a go at it. Right, well here we are on the surface. We're stopped dead and we're just waiting for this small oiler to come to us. Um, I'll show you the situation. We're just stopped dead right here with our um, back pointed to the enemy, about uh, what, oh I don't know, about 1500. Um, we should probably straighten up a little bit there, but I'm not going to bother. This small oiler is barely worth shooting at, it's only 1500 um, tons. So, you know, 1500 tons of oil still is better than nothing. I would have preferred 15,000 tonnes of oiler, but God, I'm never going to let that down. I'm going to get so many comments um, 
telling me I'm an idiot for doing that. Oh, whoops, we're on the surface this time, aren't we? I, I, my bad. I hope it's not too noisy for you out here. Um, anyway, let's get a range estimate for this. Range. At that. She's just not far out now. Did I enter that? Small oil, I'm good. Okay, what's her draft? Uh, draft is 15. Okay. Let's set up the torpedoes while we're at it. Um, 15, 16. Sixteen, a little bit less. Uh, I think I said that's seventeen. Okay. So make sure that's not on an angle. I mean, I sh I could use the deck gun, but it's a bit choppy for the deck gun, so we won't be doing that. It's coming closer. It's moving pretty quick. You can see that that wake there. All right. So we need. Uh, Angle on bow is 56, probably 60 by the time we get around to this. I keep on forgetting that I'm on the surface. Angle on bow, let's make it 60 now, just under 60. Let's take another range estimate. We know she's going 9, so range mark. Speed, seven, they think seven. I know it's going eight. Let's have a look at this. That's looking pretty good. I think we're ready to fire about now. Um, I will take our angle on bow one more time and then we'll turn the computer on. Let's see. Angle on the bow is now about 62. So I think we got it right. There we go again. Let's go back on the TVC. Angle on the bow. I like that. Range mark. Oh, I forgot to ask them about that. 10. Let's just do that. I'm not sure if I buggered that up, so I'll do it again quickly. Make it 65 now. Twelve. Okay, that's that's throwing me off. I don't like that. Let's turn that on. Angle on bow. Seventy-two. All right, we'll set it for that. Let's turn that off. Range mark. Mark. Mark, speed. They're getting closer now. Eight. Turn that on. Open tube. Seven. And tube eight. Let's have one more look in here. That looks about right. Tube one. Sorry, tube seven. Tube seven. Fire. Give it a bit of an angle to the left. And tube eight. Just for luck. Fire. Should see torpedoes. Uh, let's get rid of that. That's in the way. Coming out there. There you go. She's off. We'll probably get this boat underway as well. Just slowly. Just in case we have to dive quickly. Do I see any guns there? I don't see any guns. We shall soon know whether we get a hit. Let's have a look on this. They're looking alright. They're looking all right. I don't know. Uh, this I've underestimated the speed a little bit. I think they're going a bit faster than eight knots. You can see that's catching up. But maybe this second torpedo, which I turned on a, I don't, a couple of degrees, will get it. We will see. This episode's getting really long, and I'm getting really tired. So um, we might end up having a shorter episode next time, just for me heading home, um, which wouldn't be ideal. I don't know, maybe I'll just skip ahead to, to getting home because I will probably head home after this. All right, are we going to get a hit? That looks pretty good. That one there, Lars, anyway, maybe. Oh, only just. If we do get it, we're only just going to 
clip her tail. All right, well, we'll soon know. That one's going to miss, I think. Let's have a look in here. Yeah, I think we missed. I think we've missed. That's annoying. It was very close. Nope. Ooh. Okay, the second one did hit. Well done. Look at that. I've got a fireball on that, will you? That's an oiler, so it does blow up pretty pretty big. Well done. You can stop engines now. Yes, sir. Should be awesome. fine. Well, it's so dark out here, I can't even see my own boat. Uh, and I'm standing on it. But uh, out there you can see she's still burning. Uh, damn tough ship. We've turned around. We're facing directly towards her. She's dead in the water, not going anywhere. And I could probably finish her off with a deck gun in this weather, but um, I don't know. It just feels a little bit choppy for me uh, to be aiming a deck gun. I don't want to risk my crew either. So I've closed in a little bit. We're just going... Um, just drifting towards her. I've stopped engines and we might use our last forward torpedo to finish her off which would be fun. So let's just uh, estimate the range here. It's about 1,400. Okay, great. Um, I could probably get a little bit closer than that but we should be fine. It would be very annoying if we got a dud, wouldn't it? But um, Alright, let's let's uh, shoot at that range. That's, that's good. I'm going to set this for zero. Zero. Um, how are we going to do this? We'll use a, a slower torpedo. They seem to be more reliable. Um, we've had really good luck with the torpedoes, actually, this, um, this patrol. Uh, what we've missed is usually my fault, not because of duds. We had one dud, I think, at one point. But uh, let's... Let's... Why won't that let me change the, the depth? Uh, because I haven't selected it, that's why. Okay, there we go. Um, we'll set this for run depth of maybe 8, maybe 10. I don't want it to go under. Let's, let's set it for... No, let's set it for 10. Run depth of 10. Hopefully it won't go under. Um, we don't really need the angle on the bow, but we'll get it anyway. It's approximately that. Mark. Mark, I forgot to turn that off, but that should be fine. Uh, do, 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 I'm not sure why that's not... There we go. That's on again. Let's do that quickly one more time. Mark. 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 Zero. Let's have a look at that. Let's use this. That looks spot on. All right, that'll do. Can I close that down? I wish I could minimize that. Uh, all right, let's open tube two. Oh, this has gone on way too long. Okay. Tube two. Uh, let's double check that actually. No, it's on contact. Okay, we want it on contact. That's better. I knew there was something wrong. Tube two. Fire. Let's go out right here. Watch this. There it goes. You can see the wake. This should be uh, very pretty. She's not far away at all. I'm going to climb down on on the deck just to watch this next to the deck gun, just to get out of the way of that rigging. Boom. That's what we're after. No more ship. That's that's incredible. Okay, that's going to go down real fast. I think we broke it back there. Yep. It's going to go down real quick. Successful attack. Not my finest hour, perhaps, but I had to use those torpedoes on something. Okay, I'm going to let that sink and uh, get back underway. We 
got two torpedoes left in the stern tubes. Uh, I am going to radio in, let them know that we're on our way home, and see if they have any last minute orders for us. We shall see. Good work. No new objectives at this time. Patrol another area of your choice or return to base. Okay, well, we're going to return to base, which is fantastic. So, um, I will head down there. We're not going to use those last torpedoes. We'll save them for a, a rainy day. Um, so plotting course. I'll show you what I've got planned here. I was anticipating that they would send us home after that. We're going to head through the... D uh, we're going to get head through the Java Sea. We're going to try and um, stick uh, to deep water, of course. Yes, I'll finish plotting that course in a minute. I'll just show you where we're going. Sure. We're going to go through Java Sea through the Java Sea, and then we're going to uh, cut through... I find the safest way to go is to cut around Timor. We've got a bit of space between us there, um, between these islands. So we should be okay to get, get through there, preferably by night. We'll go through there. We'll go through the uh, Savu Sea, and then straight down to Fremantle, which I believe is our, uh, our anchorage. Yes, it is. So that's where we're going to be heading. It's going to take quite a while, probably a week or two. Um, probably a week, I'd say. About a week's journey down to Fremantle. Okay, uh, just got a bit of an update here. I am running uh, at a head full now, because I'm trying to cover as much distance as I can. Uh, we are going through uh, Java Sea, and it's very shallow. So I'm worried about aircraft. Speaking of aircraft, um, we got jumped not long ago, uh, and... Um, up here it was. Uh, I was just happily listening to the gramophone and uh, I surfaced around lunchtime to get some air and there was a wonderful pinging sound on the, <laughs> on the side of our boat. We didn't get damaged at all, but we were under attack, so I had to dive as quickly as possible. Uh, so yeah, we were lucky. I wasn't filming, unfortunately. It all happened so quickly. But uh, we've got to be very careful um, because we did get bullets bouncing off the hull. Uh, now, I would like to go to periscope depth, but I really don't want to risk it in this shallow water. So I, I'm going to stay above the surface as much as I can. If we see an aircraft or uh, read an aircraft, I'll just double check that's on. It's on now. There, yep, it's on. Um, so, yeah, unless we get a radar reading of an aircraft coming, I think we're going to be okay. But once we get through this shallow water, I'll be a lot happier, that's for sure. I really don't like this part of the world. It's uh, not a good place to be a submarine commander, that's for sure. All right, here we are. We're going through the uh, through this strait here between Timor and uh, Flores. Uh, we can't see any land out on the horizon there. I'm considering going to periscope depth to go through there. I think I might just because it's daylight and uh, we'll try and get through there as quietly as we can. We haven't seen anything except for a couple of saipans uh, along here. So I guess we'll just play it safe. I will get back to you once we get out through the Sav uh, Savu Sea here. Uh, we'll probably cut, actually we'll go south, but it's quicker that way. We'll go this way. And um, once we pop out here into the Indian Ocean, it'll be all ahead full uh, back to Fremantle. So let's see if we get through this alive. Well, as you can see, we got through. We are alive. Uh, and unless uh, we get any disasters along the way, uh, it's it's just a clear run now to Fremantle. So we're going to be fine, I think. I've got uh, plenty of fuel left here, so um, I've got the men to go ahead full. Um, and we're just going to head home. Uh, how long do we have uh, until we reach our destination? Uh, time. Here we go. So we've got another 115 hours, so a few more days to, to travel. It's a big country, Australia, and we're going to be going all the way down it. So I guess the next you'll see me, I will be in Fremantle. Uh, this has been a very successful patrol so far. You can see uh, we've got quite a few kills, and we got would have got even more sinkings if we hadn't been uh, held back by the Admiralty with their uh, silly, silly orders. But yeah, 26th of, 26th of March, 1942, and we are alive. Let's, ho let's head home, shall we?
Welcome home. This is uh, Perth Fremantle, and uh, the um, entire American Navy is out there behind us, but uh, it's definitely time to end this patrol. You can see there's some submarines there, and we're going to join them in a moment uh, for a well-earned rest. So let's click this button up here and end patrol. Do you want to dock? Yes, we do. At Fremantle, that would be very nice. Okay, we're here. We're at Fremantle. This is fantastic. Look at that. All of those um, objectives are completed. And we got six uh, merchant ships and two warships for 30,000 tons. That's a lot of tonnage. Much better than most people were actually doing in the war. So I'm exhausted after that. That's enough. Let's see if we get a medal for that. Yes, we do. For extraordinary heroism as commanding officer of the USS SEAL during the third war patrol of that vessel, the Navy Board of Decorations and Medals awards the Navy Commendation Medal to Lieutenant Commander Lewis C. Davison. There you go. We can read the rest of that. So we got back on the 31st of March, so we were at sea for more than a month. I think we're close to two months there, and we did get a medal for it. So that's great. And it's now April 1st. It jumps forward a day. That's, that's fine. Here we are at Western Australia. Okay, we're alive. That was fantastic. We did really well there, people. So um, not a bad start, all things considered. Uh, I'm confused by Patrol 3. I thought we'd only done two patrols. I'm not sure why it said Third War Patrol there. Um, that's something I'm going to have to look at in a moment. But anyway, for now, we're going to end the video. Uh, thank you very much for viewing. This has been Kairos. This is a very tired Kairos. Signing off, I will see you all in the next episode.